Welcome. All right, so what we're trying to do is see if we can determine um, to solve by factoring using a perfect square. So again, the first thing we like to do is uh, set our equation, set it equal to 0. And you know, since we kind of know this is a perfect square, um, we kind of want to be able to look at again and, and see, all right, so we know x squared um, obviously is a square number. But 3 is not very common um, of our square numbers. But however, if we take the square root of 3, right? because remember, if it's a square number, you have y equals x squared um, plus or minus 2 um, ax plus a squared. So what we want to do is just make sure that our middle term is double the square root of our constant. So if we take the square root of 3, we know that's going to just believe be the square root of 3. And then multiplying by 2, therefore, we, have our, um, we know that's the square root. So therefore, I can set this up since my two binomials, since my middle term is positive, I know that both of these have to be positive. OK? So again, we can work on this either using the zero product property or using the square, um, square root method. In this case, I'll use the square root property. So I have x plus the square root of 3 equals 0 x plus the square root of 3 equals 0. And then when I solve, I have x equals negative square root of 3 and x equals negative square root of 3. Now, we don't need to write that twice, but what we'll talk about is multiplicity in another course. But you can see that the solution for this one is just going to be x equals negative square root of 3. Thanks.